The Jungle Book 1894 is a collection of stories by the English author Rudyard Kipling. Most of the characters are animals such as Shere Khan the tiger and Baloo the bear, though a principal character is the boy or man-cub, Mowgli, who is raised in the jungle by wolves. The stories are set in a forest in India. One place mentioned repeatedly is Sioni, Sioni in the central state of Madhya Pradesh. Joseph Rudyard Kipling, the 30th of December 1865 to the 18th of January 1936, was an English novelist, short story writer, poet, and journalist. He was born in British India, which inspired much of his work. A major theme in the book is abandonment followed by fostering, as in the life of Mowgli. Echoing Kipling's own childhood. The theme is echoed in the triumph of protagonists including Ricky Tikki Tabby and the White Seal over their enemies, as well as Mowgli's. Another important theme is of law and freedom, the stories are not about animal behavior, still less about the Darwinian struggle for survival, but about human archetypes in animal form. They teach respect for authority, obedience, and knowing one's place in society with, the law of the jungle, but the stories also illustrate the freedom to move between different worlds, such as when Mowgli moves between the jungle and the village. Critics have also noted the essential wildness and lawless energies in the stories, reflecting the irresponsible side of human nature. Mowgli arrives at a wolf pack's home on top of a mountain where he meets Akila, the wolf pack's leader. The mother and father wolf take in Mowgli as one of their own. Shere Khan, a tiger, wants to capture Mowgli and eat him. Finally, the entire wolf pack accepts Mowgli after a bear named Baloo speaks for him and a panther named Bagheera bribes the pack with food. Mowgli learns how to live in the jungle with the help of all of his animal family, but he still watches the people in the nearby village who are living normal human lives. Shere Khan still tries to get the younger wolves to exclude Mowgli from the pack, and after a while, Mowgli realizes it's time for him to move on from his jungle family. Before Mowgli leaves, Bagheera tells him to get the red flower from outside the house of a man. The red flower is the way that the jungle animals talk about fire, a dangerous weapon to them. The animals are too scared to use the red flower, but Mowgli isn't an animal. Mowgli hits Shere Khan with a fire stick and scares him away from the mountain. Mowgli then leaves the mountain and promises to return with Shere Khan's skin. Mowgli cries, and Bagheera realizes Mowgli is finally a man. After leaving the mountain, Mowgli goes to the village where the people live. When he gets to the village he is rescued by a woman named Meshua and her husband who believe that Mowgli is their long-lost son who was taken by a tiger. Mowgli tries to learn how to speak and live as a man. The Jungle Book was published in 1893, and is actually a collection of seven short stories. The settings and characterizations are drawn from Kipling's own experiences during his 19th century travels around the British Empire, and include locations like India, Afghanistan and the Bering Sea. The stories all feature talking animals, and though geared toward children, are set with themes that easily reach mature audiences as well, including prejudice, hypocrisy and greed. These traits marked Kipling's travels in the British colonies but are just as relevant today. Many of the stories center around a human child named Mowgli, who is adopted by a pack of wolves and raised as one of their own. Mowgli endures a variety of trials and tribulations as he grows up in an Indian jungle. He must learn the way of the jungle, and though he is accepted as a wolf by the jungle's other animals, will eventually be faced with his own identity after coming into contact with other humans. Mowgli does not want to identify as a human because he is all too aware of what humans signify for the jungle, greed and destruction. Though the rules of the animal kingdom can prove savage or seemingly arbitrary, Mowgli understands that the jungle animals act according to their nature. Humans, however, are an enigma. Greed is not an inherent trait.
As Mowgli faces his fears about humans, being kicked out of his wolf pack and confronting his sworn enemy, the tiger, he must come face to face with the fact that he is, despite his prejudices, human. The Mowgli stories in the collection are supplemented by stories about animals around the British Empire, though the stories often carry the same themes. These stories usually end with verse or song lyrics recited by the main character, thus summarizing the story. Because of their marked difference from the Mowgli stories, many publishers actually separate the collection into two different volumes. Though the Mowgli stories are perhaps the most well-known of the collection, especially as they have been made into movies on several occasions, the other stories feature likable and popular characters, including the mongoose named Ricky Tiki Tabby. Mowgli's Brothers is a short story by Rudyard Kipling. Chronologically it is the first story about Mowgli although it was written after, in the Rook, in which Mowgli appears as an adult. Father Wolf Rama and Mother Wolf Ruksha, a pair of wolves raising a family of cubs, are furious to learn from Tabaki the jackal that Shere Khan the lame tiger is hunting in their territory because he might kill men and bring human retribution upon the jungle. But when Father Wolf Rama hears something approaching their den, it turns out to be not the tiger, but a naked human baby. Mother Wolf Ruksha decides to adopt the hairless, man-cub. Her determination is only strengthened by the arrival of Sher Khan, who demands the cub for his meal. The wolves drive off the tiger, and Ruksha names him Mowgli the Frog because of his hairlessness. At the wolf pack's meeting at Council Rock, Baloo the bear speaks for the man-cub, and Bagheera the black panther buys his life with a freshly killed bull. Baloo and Bagheera undertake the task of educating Mowgli as he grows. Meanwhile, Shere Khan plans to take revenge on the wolf pack by persuading the younger wolves to depose their leader Akela. When Mowgli is about 11 years old, Bagheera tells him of Shere Khan's plan. Mowgli, being human, is the only creature in the jungle that does not fear fire, so he steals a pot of burning coals from a nearby village in order to use it against Shere Khan. The young wolves prevent Akela from catching his prey, and at that night's meeting, Shere Khan demands that Akela be killed and the man-cub given to him. Mowgli, despite being naked and unprotected, relentlessly attacks Shere Khan with a burning branch and drives him and his allies away, but realizes to his sorrow that he must now leave the pack and return to humanity. As he leaves, he vows to return one day and lay Shere Khan's hide upon the council rock. Cause Hunting is an 1893 short story by Rudyard Kipling featuring Mowgli. Chronologically the story falls between the first and second halves of Mowgli's brothers, and is the second story in the Jungle Book 1894 where it is accompanied by the poem, Road Song of the Bunder Log. The seven-year-old, man-cub, Mowgli, raised by wolves in the Indian jungle, is being tutored in the law of the jungle by Baloo the bear, but, runs off in a temper, when Baloo hits him over the head for inattention. Bagheera the Black Panther, who disapproves of this corporal punishment, persuades Mowgli to return and recite his lessons. These include the master words for various species that identify the speaker as a friend. Bagheera is impressed with Mowgli's progress, but both are horrified when the man-cub then reveals that he has been visiting the Bunder Log monkey people, who are shunned by the rest of the jungle. Mowgli is chastened, but soon afterward is abducted by the Bunder Log through the treetops. Seeing Chill the kite, Mowgli gives the kite's master word and tells Chill to find Baloo and Bagheera. The bear and the panther, unable to follow the monkeys, recall that the monkeys' only fear is Ka the python, and Bagheera goads the python into helping them by repeating, or inventing, some of the Bunder Log's insults against him. Here, Chill tells them Mowgli has been taken to the Cold Lairs, an abandoned human city, and they set off to rescue him. In the Cold Lairs, Mowgli soon realizes that the monkeys only captured him as an amusing novelty. They soon become bored of him but refuse to let him go. 
When Ka and Bagheera arrive, the monkeys throw Mowgli into an abandoned, summer house, inhabited by cobras, whereupon Mowgli hastily uses the snake's master word to prevent them from striking. When Baloo and Bagheera arrive, a furious battle ensues. Ka is delayed by a large section of city walls, but breaks down the wall of the summer house and frees Mowgli, who thanks him courteously. Ka then scatters, and afterward hypnotizes the Bunder log into submission to himself. Baloo and Bagheera are also hypnotized, but Mowgli frees them. Once away, Bagheera advocates corporal punishment and Baloo opposes it. After, six love taps, from Bagheera, the score is settled and the three of them go home. Tiger, Tiger, is a short story by Rudyard Kipling. A direct sequel to Mowgli's Brothers, it was published in magazines in 1893-94 before appearing as the third story in the Jungle Book 1894 following, Cause Hunting. The title is derived from William Blake's poem, The Tiger. After driving out the tiger Shere Khan, Mowgli leaves the wolf pack that has raised him and makes his way to a human village to be with his own biological kind. There he is adopted by a bereaved couple, Meshua and her husband, due to his resemblance to their long-lost son Nathu. The village priest agrees to this because it will keep Meshua's rich husband happy. For three months Mowgli learns human language and customs such as wearing clothes, plowing, money and caste divisions, few of which impress him. He is also disrespectful to the village elders when they tell fanciful tales of the jungle, such as claims of the tiger being the reincarnation of a lame money lender, since he has first-hand experience of what the jungle is really like. What is not fanciful is the 100 rupee reward for the tiger's skin. During this period, Mowgli regularly sneaks out of the village to meet his wolf friend Grey Brother who brings him news of the jungle. To keep Mowgli out of trouble the village elders decide to put him to work herding buffalo. One day while taking a break from this task he meets Grey Brother again. The wolf tells him that Shere Khan has returned and is planning to kill Mowgli. For the next few weeks Grey Brother keeps watch on Shere Khan while Mowgli goes about his tasks in the village. Eventually he meets Mowgli again and tells him that Shere Khan is hiding in a nearby ravine in preparation to attack. Mowgli learns that Grey Brother obtained this information from Shere Khan's accomplice Tabaki the Jackal, before killing him. With the aid of Akila, Mowgli and Grey Brother divide the buffalo herd in two and stampede them from opposite ends of the ravine, trampling the tiger to death between them. Mowgli who has promised to lay Shere Khan's skin on the wolf pack's council rock, sets about skinning the tiger. The village hunter Boldio has been told of the stampede by the other village boys, and soon arrives to chastise Mowgli. Boldio demands that Mowgli hand the skin over to him for the reward. Mowgli refuses, and summons Akila to restrain him. When Mowgli and Akila let him go, the frightened hunter returns to the village and tells the villagers Mowgli is a shape-shifting sorcerer. By the time the unsuspecting Mowgli returns with the buffalo, the entire village except Meshua has turned against him and they drive him away. Confused and disgusted by their behavior, Mowgli fulfills his promise to lay out Shere Khan's hide on Council Rock and dances upon it, singing of his emotional confusion. The pack offers to take Mowgli back, but he refuses to forgive them for casting him out earlier. Instead he decides that from now on he will hunt alone, except for his four wolf brothers who refuse to be parted from him. The story ends with the statement that Mowgli will eventually grow up and get married, but that is a story for grown-ups. This is clearly a reference to Kipling's earlier story, in the Rook, collected in many inventions which was indeed aimed at adults, in which the adult Mowgli does marry. Ricky Tiki Tabby, is a short story in the 1894 anthology The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling about adventures of a valiant young Indian grey mongoose. It has often been anthologized and has been published several times as a short book. 
Book 5 of Panchatantra, an ancient Indian collection, includes the mongoose and snake story, an inspiration for the Ricky Tikki Tabby story. A mongoose Namedriki Tiki Tabby, from his chattering vocalizations becomes the pet of an English family residing in India. He becomes friendly with some of the other creatures inhabiting their garden and is warned of the cobras Nag and Nagana, who are angered by the human family's presence in their territory and fear Ricky is a threat. Accordingly Nag enters the house's bathroom before dawn to kill the humans and make Ricky leave. Ricky attacks Nag from behind in the darkness. The ensuing struggle awakens the family, and the father kills Nag with a shotgun blast while Ricky bites down on the hood of the struggling male cobra. The grieving female snake Nagana attempts revenge against the humans, cornering them as they have breakfast on a veranda. She is distracted by a female tailor bird, the husband is singing Nag's death, while Ricky destroys the cobra's unhatched brood of eggs, except for one. He carries it to where Nagana is threatening to bite little Teddy, while his parents watch helplessly. Nagana recovers her egg but is pursued by Ricky away from the house to the cobra's underground nest, where an unseen final battle takes place. Ricky emerges triumphant from the hole, declaring Nagana dead. With the immediate threat defeated, Ricky dedicates his life to guarding the garden, resulting in no snake even daring to enter it. Tumai of the Elephants is a short story by Rudyard Kipling about a young elephant handler. It was first published in St. Nicholas Magazine, December 1893, and reprinted in the collection of Kipling short stories, The Jungle Book, 1894. The character Peterson Sahib is thought to be modeled on George P. Sanderson, 1848-1892. Big Tumai, the boss driver of elephants, takes little pleasure from his work. But his 10-year-old son, Little Tumai, loves the elephants and they understand his kindness. Asking to go on a hunt, his father tells him he can go when he sees the elephants dance, which is something that no man has ever seen an elephant do.